Did okay, you smash yeah. them? Yeah, everyone. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, so what is up, guys? In this video, I'm going to talk to you about the game and how we should win. Okay, so it, there will be commentary gameplay of me winning a game in which I will explain everything I do. So yeah, definitely stay tuned for that and let's get straight to it. So as you can see, the first you need to choose your champion, right? So pretty much what you want to do is that you want to choose a champion that you can utilize in any sort of way, right? So in this case, I have gone for the assassin girl and I have started playing her like two games ago. So this is my like second game with her. And I think that is really, really important to mention that if you're playing someone like that aggressive, you need to have someone like someone who can support you in the team, right? So my friend went for the tank guy, okay, the Chinese guy. He has a shield, plus he has really, really strong ultimate ability. So yeah, that's pretty much why I took it. And I think that right now, we should focus on the looting part, right? Because if you land, the first thing you want to do is so to what, loot, what right? We all want to loot. Like you can see in this example, I haven't been real lucky. So the only weapon I found was a, let's just say minigun, but it's devotion, right? It's like a plasma, um, plasma thingy, plasma weapon. And yeah, it wasn't the best weapon, but near the worst one. So what I wanted to do right now at this point is that I wanted to try to load something, like exchange some stuff that I didn't really need, like throwing stars and stuff like that, because I don't really play with those. Like if I have a choice to like pick something different. And what I want to do next is that I want to ju just go through the entire like starting zone and try to loot as much things as I can. And I always like, and I find like most success in my gameplay and I found myself to win like most of the time when I've had a sniper as a one weapon, I recommend taking something like longbow or i don't know like uh, triple shot yeah I, I think longbow should serve the best at least it do for me and as a second weapon you want either shotgun or smg D okay it depends on your on your gameplay and the style i know like the style you have while playing the game in my case i like smg sway bear because with this champion as you can see I'm using this one just so I can utilize the invisibility for my Q and then just suddenly spraying down the entire team. And you'll see that by the end of the video, I will be going like two or three times against an entire squad on my own. And I haven't died to, died to them one single time. So you will definitely see that. And yeah this what that was pretty much like every everything basic like for the beginning you should like you should want to know and that you should like think about and yeah if you have any questions like related to the beginning or something like that then definitely hit me up in the comments down below and i can like either respond to them like straight away or i may actually do another video about these questions if you want me to because like if you want some champion guides i can do that okay just let me know in the comments down below what guide would you like me to do the next and i'll just try to do it by the way i would really appreciate if you could hit the subscribe button and like the video as well it would really really help me and it would also make me able to keep doing these awesome videos for you guys so definitely thank you all for watching and let's get straight to as i said <music> Okay, so what you have seen me do right now is that the moment I've noticed the enemy player, I went to my invisibility and ran away because I was there alone and I didn't know whether there were many, like, more players or only one. 
So the thing that I have done is that I have went into my invisibility, ran away, called for help, and then I have created my portal from the ultimate ability uh, on the top of the mountain where they will go, and then like in the middle of nowhere, like when where we can shoot them with my friend. And what I said the next was that I told him that let's bay these people and let's bay them just so they use the portal and they come to us. And that's exactly what happened. And right here you can see that there is an enemy right here in front of me. And it was because he used the portal. And know that it's really, really important to keep baiting your opponents towards you. Never go towards your enemy. Like, bait them towards you because you have cover and they do not. So, what you can see here is that the moment I've noticed an enemy, I went straight to fight them. Uh, what's important here is that the moment I go ahead, I wanted to repair my armor, right? So. Shit. I took the nearest cover I could have and I repaired my armor. Fuck. I think there's someone coming from behind. Right now, when my friend has gone has got attacked, I don't really wait for like yeah, I don't really like want to wait for the enemy. I just want to run straight to them. And as you can see here, I have knocked one already. And then there is the other one. Watch out, watch out. dead right now they're gonna knock you down and i just want to heal myself again and now to the first part Did you finish that what guy? have i done Did the first down? time no, I, I have i went what there to fight them right and the thing is that the reason why i thought that i fought with that guy is that i knew yeah, that i have an advantage down. right now when you see that my friend yeah, knocks, okay. knocks down stealth another sure. one. I pretty much just go stealth and push the other guy. As you can see, I've nearly killed the first one and the second one was knocked. And yeah, now we've simply just won base of the action, you know, because they have enough time to heal me. and we push them immediately. This is the other team the fault with my friend so i went straight to help him and the reason and the important thing is that Space my friend is dead Please. right and they don't expect me to push them so I'm i can go and install rush them immediately because they they didn't know that i i was going to do it and i wouldn't know it either right because if one of your teammates is not going to help no, it's okay, it's okay. Well, i didn't want to right this portal, you can see right here, is meant to distract just, people, so if someone is going to push me, he'll be teleported uh, behind me, I don't know you, about it, I will have use enough them? time to, like, to turn around and kill him. Of Listen, course, there has been an ultimate my, uh, ability right now, and I only wanted to dodge it, so I have, and right now, oh, the yeah, moment yeah. I heal up, I wanted to go back to my friends, but I've got attacked, so oh, I've called for help, and now I'm just trying to fight these guys. But since my friends are really far, I literally only want to retreat, so I've, I've used my stealth ability and ran away. Okay, and here you can see that I will heal again, as I, as I always have. Then I'd like to run away because, as I said, don't engage your enemy unless you have better position. Let them engage. So I went back and find myself, so find myself ammunition because I've had literally zero ammunition, right? So that was really, really important. And right now, when I've got plenty of ammo and I've been healed, we could have gone back again and try to okay, okay. like uh, try I'm to cut their shield, escape right because they have to go this way so we were in a favorable position and since i knew that this ultimate was from our friend then i knew that i'm going to be saved there right so i went there and as i have done last time 
I went to push them. Okay, like the the rule of thumb: do not engage the enemy if you have a favorable position. Works every single time. Right here, I've had the position, so I took my opportunity. I went to my invisibility and I, I straight rushed them. Rushed them. As you can see, we've got a kill of that, and the second guy, I mean the last guy, is gonna die as well. Like in a in a moment. So yeah, very much again. I'm low, so I heal. Now we can go to loot, and we can also go to very favorable position where the rain current lies. And as you can see. The map. The, windows, okay? the ring is right here, here, right? Give you some armor oh, like, literally in our yeah, position. Armor. And the funny Spirit, part, me, uh, I wanted to give him heals, armor. right? Because he didn't have any armor, so I throw them down. I throw a load of, them down and just told him to pick them up to repair. And he did it, right? So, <laughs> like, why can't you do it with these guys, right? So, now I only, I only wanted to like help him, and now my friend tried to do it, so my friend kept talking to him <laughs> through voice chat, and he actually managed to, actually to make him use it, like watch this shit, okay, he will actually use it. And right now, I want to like, I want to make them visit just so they don't push us, so I kept firing at them. It actually worked, you know, because you I've hit some, I've hit a couple times, and it's more than enough yeah, to like to keep them busy. If I only had and the I'll be a you'll be able to see like a okay. moment what happened next, right? Because thanks to this situation, when we couldn't have anyone in our backs because we've cleared the last team that has been there. Yeah. We were now in the oh, most favorable position of the oh, zone, me, and it means that all other squads, like the three other squads, yeah, not only four, not only two of them, has to be right here. And we literally knew that, so we only focus on this side. And we also knew that they will have to fight, which means that if we keep bu keep them busy for long enough. Okay. I they I will fight with each other and it will I definitely help us win the game, right? Because they will... Like, if you... Like, the enemy of my enemy is my friend, right? So nice. just keep that in mind. Because your enemy is going to kill the other enemy and then you can only kill one enemy. And as you can see, it has been 3v2. Now it's 3v1. And right now... We are going to take the way, take the board as well. That's how we fucking do it. Uh, as you can see, was it weird. was it so hard? I don't think so. Right? You can check out the damage done. Oh, what happened? Damage, right? It's not that bad. Yeah. Thank you all for watching, and please subscribe.